We're gonna overview a GE 16 slice. The gantry does tilt. And here we go. So, first things first, we have a yellow box right here. Do you guys know what that is? The heat? Yeah. So right now we're in the warm stage and this says we have 43 minutes left until it gets cold. So when it gets cold, do you know what color this will be? Red. Blue. blue. So it's actually gonna be blue. I know the other machine, the Toshiba is red. So this will be blue. You should not scan when this is blue. You will have to warm up the tube. And then, so this is no go, you're warm, you're okay, good to go. And this one's you're really good to go. What color would this one be? That would be red. Green. green. Yeah. So green, yellow, blue. And so if you need to warm up, like we could warm up here to use a machine. What you would go to is daily prep. And then you could just left click it. And all this stuff will pop up and it'll tell you tube warm up or fast calibration. This is how you do your, your, your daily calibration in the mornings. And then the tube warm up will be here. You'll just click it and then it'll like prep you, prompt you to warm up the machine. And then after that, this will light up. The start scan will light up and then you'll just scan it and it'll do its thing. But since we don't have anyone coming to this machine, we're not going to warm up. It was just an example. So let's quit. So now we're going to get into selecting a patient. So there's a couple steps. You're going to click new patient and then patient schedule. So this thing pops up and then patient schedule and then this thing pops up and you're just going to press continue update and then it's going to populate um, the patients which I'm not going to show this because of HIPAA. So once that populates the name you'll click it and then you'll click select patient which is not here anymore but I'm adding just a patient here so we could take a look at it. Um, so you'll need everything that is normally given your MRN number, which I'm just going to put whatever, and age, and then the operator and whatnot. So just fill that out as best as you can if you don't have a work list. But if you have a work list, select the name and then click select patient. So now that we have this going, we're just going to continue on. So here we have um, a default protocol. So routine head is just your non-contrast head, your sinus, your C-spine, shoulder, routine chest, um, that should be with contrast, routine abdomen, pelvis. So these are just default pre-selected um, thing that's there. But if you want to go in depth, just like a routine abdomen, pelvis, you'll click the abdomen right there, just the anatomy, click it, one click and then all the abdomen protocols will show up. So you have your routine abdomen pelvis, and then you could do different ones, abdomen pelvis without, so head first, all these different things, triphase and everything. Um, like the head, so the routine head, or other heads will pop up. So different things, chest, all this stuff, right? So let's just work on the abdomen pelvis right now. So we're gonna do a routine abdomen and pelvis. Okay, after you select the protocol, it'll bump them to this. So once you set your line, your zero line, you know how you do the abdomen and pelvis, it's supposed to go nipple line, right? Mm -hmm. So you have your light set up to your nipple line. Make sure your patient is isocentric to the tube. So they're center in the tube, axial, and everything is lined up. 
So this starts at S40, but we want to start it at like zero. I like to just set my line to zero already. So I'm just clicking zero right now and it's, it pops up S0. So S is for superior and I is for inferior. Superior, inferior. And then we're just gonna leave it like that. So if you click this top part, it's gonna select both um, the AP and lateral, the scout. So actually this is the AP because it's at zero and then 90 is like the perpendicular portion to it. So this is the lateral. So first scout is gonna be the lateral. Second scout is gonna be the AP. Um, so you can individually like select this or easy, just click both. Like let's say I'm gonna change it to, to I10, it'll change both to I10. So whatever it is you wanna do, just select the top part. It goes for the same thing here. You'll like click it and it'll change both. KB is gonna set to 120. If they're larger, then you can of course change that. Um, and then the voice will come up you can change it if they speak something else. So you'll click this, and then here it is. You can click Japanese, inspiration, okay, and then go Japanese. So once this comes up, then you're gonna next series, click next series. Actually, it's gonna scan it, I'm sorry. So once you set it, it's gonna scan it. So once you get all that stuff set up, you're gonna click confirm, and once you click confirm, then there's going to be like a red light telling you to move your scan to the section so this is going to turn green and all you got to do is follow your light press this to turn green and then press start um and then it'll scan your scouts and then you can adjust this um once your first scout comes up if you have too much diaphragm if you have too little diaphragm you can always go up and down inferior superior and once um can't really show you here but you can scroll it on the work side and it'll tell you where your exact location is and this could be adjusted so your scouts can look better and you don't have to waste radiation and you get all the anatomies you want. So once that is scanned, it'll like prompt you to keep going but we're just gonna go to next series right now because we don't have anything being scanned. So this is gonna pop up and so this is just telling you the scan type, this is how fast the helical scan is going your start location depending on where you move like where you adjust your box this will move with it so um superior inferior the width the length whatever it'll it'll adjust here and then that's how much images that you'll get from this portion and again it'll probably be more like 500 or something so see the more anatomy you scan the more images you'll get because the helical and the pitch and stuff will keep going because you have more anatomy, it's gonna be longer. Um, the thickness is how much like interpolation you have pretty much. The, our protocol is to go with five. So this can be changed to smaller. So if you want volumes, you can go smaller, thinner slice, thicker slice, whatever it is. So we go with five, we're gonna leave it at five. Um, gantry tilt is none, this is just your scan field of view, how big or small, your KV can be adjusted, here again, your MA table, um, you'll click MA table and then something will pop up. You want that to be different numbers, if it flatlines, like with just the same numbers, like 300, 300, 300, 300, you're going to want to adjust your MA, and this is where you'll do it. If you want this to be a clear like if they're a bigger patient it's good to just change your helical to a longer rotation time so that it's a clearer slower picture more details with a slower scan time like if the patient's moving too much then you'll do a slower scan time so right now where is our scan time Total exposure time, let's see, that's 15 seconds, right? So like, if you change this to nine, that goes up. So it's a longer scan time. So it's gonna take time and it's gonna give more details. If your patient's moving, you wanna go slower. 
this number should change to 11 seconds. So it was from 15 to 11. You see that? Same thing with your head if you want to go faster. Now we'll go into the other stuff that we need to get. So once you set up your thing, you'll do your AP, line everything up, and remember to switch your page up and down, like to get your apps, your AP and lateral. You'll you'll press this one. You don't have a scroll thing. So our first one will be the axial with five thickness, and then you have your. 70 seconds delay, it'll show here. And then you come here. So your first one is gonna be five thickness. And then it's on recon type is standard. Standard means it's your soft tissue because all the other ones you have, that's soft tissue, but you want your standard window. And then you have your lung window, bone window, which we don't want any of those stuff. We're just gonna keep it at standard. You're gonna go to recon two to turn on this portion, this is the recon enable. This means it's not on, so no, our tube's cold. So you see how it's blue. Um, then we're gonna click yes. And then that's gonna turn that on. The thickness is gonna be really, really tiny because this is gonna be your volume that you make your recons with, your sagittals and coronals. So it's gonna be 1.25 and it's standard. And that's pretty much it. And then you're just gonna confirm and follow the lights through. Once you follow this through and hit go, make sure you set up your injector and hit go at the same time when you hit um, the injector. So, cause it doesn't sync, it's, it's separately. So click go and go here at the same time. You can do it here on your console or in the room with a tube.